am weird. The Orfish. I've added this because it commonly comes up as an option for sea serpents. So it has become vital for us to explore that as well as being an actual creature that qualifies as weird. As you see sometimes in this series, we've covered creatures that most definitely do exist, but commonly due to their bizarre nature, come up when we are looking at cryptids. So here we go. Orfish are large, greatly elongated, poetic, lampriform fish, belonging to a small family of regalicides found in all temperate to tropical oceans, yet rarely seen. The oarfish family contains three species in two genera. One of these is the giant oarfish, is the longest bony fish alive, growing to 11 meters, about 36 feet in length. That is not enough to qualify as the longest fish, however, as some of the cartilaginous fishes, such as the basking shark and whale sharks, are even longer. The common name oarfish is thought to be in reference either to their highly compressed or elongated bodies, or the now discredited belief that the fish row themselves through the water with their pelvic fins. The family name Regalicidae, which I'm probably am pronouncing wrong, is derived from the Latin regalis, meaning royal. The occasional breaching of oarfish after storms and their habit of lingering on the surface when sick or dying make oarfish a probable source of many sea, sea serpent tales. All of the larger species are considered game fish and are fished commercially to a minor extent. Oarfish are rarely caught alive. Their flesh is not well regarded for eating due to its gelatinous consistency. The dorsal fin originates from above the relatively large eyes and runs the entire length of fish. Of the approximately 400 dorsal fin rays, the first 10 to 13 are elongated to varying degrees, forming a trailing crest, embellished with red spots and flaps of skin at the ray tips. The pelvic fins are similarly elongated and adorned. Reduced to one to five rays each, pectoral fins are greatly reduced and situated low on the body. The anal fin is completely absent and the caudal fin may be reduced or absent. At least one account for the researchers in New Zealand described the oarfish as giving off electric shocks when touched. Like other members of its order, the oarfish has a small yet highly oblique mouth with no visible teeth. The body is scaleless. Oarfish coloration is varied. The flanks are commonly covered with irregular bluish or blackish streaks, black dots, and squiggles. These markings quickly fade following death. Orfish that washed ashore on a Bermuda beach in 1860. This fish was 16 feet, about 4.9 meters long, and was originally described as a sea serpent. The giant orfish is by far the largest member of the family uh, with a total length of about 11 to 36 feet, or 11 meters with unconfirmed reports of 17 meters. That's about 56 feet. And about 600 pounds in weight, which is 270 kilograms. The streamer fish is known to reach up to 10 feet in length, while the largest recorded specimen measure about 5.4 meters or 18 feet. Your fish is thought to inhabit the epilogic to mesopelagic ocean layers, ranging from about 1,000 meters or about 3,300 feet. It is rarely seen on the surface. Few have been found still barely alive, but usually if one floats to the surface, it dies. At the depth the oarfish live, there are little to no currents, and so they build little muscle mass, and they cannot survive at shallow or turbulent waters. A photograph on display in bars, restaurants, and guest house and markets around Laos in Thailand captioned Queen of Nagas was seized by the American Army at Mekong River, Laos military base, on June 27, 1973, with a length of 7.8 meters. 
is, as far the caption goes, a hoax. The photograph was taken by Dr. Leo Smith of the Field Museum of an oar fish found in September 1996 by United States Navy SEAL trainees on the coast of Coronado, California, USA. In 2001, an oar fish was filmed alive. This 1.5 meter, 4.9 feet long fish was spotted by a group of U.S. Navy personnel during an inspection of a buoy in the Bahamas. The oarfish was observed to propel itself by an ammiform mode of swimming, that is, rhythmically undulating the dorsal fin while keeping the body itself straight, perhaps indicating a feeding posture. Oarfish have been observed swimming in a vertical orientation, with their long axes perpendicular to the ocean surface. In this posture, the downstreaming light would silhouette the oarfish's prey, making them easier to spot. In July 2008, scientists captured footage of a rare fish swimming in its natural habitat in the mesopelagic zone in the Gulf of Mexico. It is the first ever confirmed sighting of an oarfish at depth, as most specimens are discovered dying at the sea surface or washing ashore. Fish was estimated to be between 5 to 10 meters, about 16 and 33 feet in length. In 2016, Animal Planet aired an episode on a television series called River Monsters, named Deep Sea Demon, in which Jeremy Wade was filmed during an encounter with a live oarfish while diving. The oarfish at this location seemed to be using a buoy anchor chain as a guide to ascend to the surface. On his second diving attempt, he was able to film two live oarfish as they ascended relatively close to the surface. This is the only known footage of human interaction with a healthy oarfish in its own environment. Wade was even able to touch one of the oarfish with his hand. The oarfish were propelling themselves by an amiform mode of swimming, as noted by other sightings. Oarfish feed primarily on zooplankton, selectively straining tiny, tiny shrimp and other crustaceans from the water. Small fish, jellyfish, and squids are also taken. Large open ocean carnivores are all likely predators of the oarfish. Thank you.